Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya Royo and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And in today's video, I want to do something that I've been wanting to do for such a long time, which is to take one of these topics that I mentioned two days ago, one of these potential Etsy download business, Etsy instant download business, one of these products that you can just upload and upload, and if people buy them, then you know, the stock is infinite, and take you through this process of this shop from start to finish. And the topic for today's video is how to make and sell printable greeting cards on Etsy, which is super important right now because, hey, Easter is around the corner, but not just Easter, because greeting cards are evergreen. Birthday cards, anniversary cards, retirement cards, get well cards, thank you cards, I'm sorry cards, funny cards, romantic cards, cards with just illustrations and just paintings, this is an evergreen niche that Hallmark has made a lot of money from, and I hope that maybe you could do the same. Now, two announcements before we get started. The first one is that I took some of your advices and I took your messages to heart, especially on Instagram, and yesterday I uploaded a video calling out for people who want a shop review. I just want to make this clear. This is for everyone. Redbubble, Society6, T-Chip, T-Public, Etsy, anyone who wants me to look at their designs and tell them how they can improve them. I will be doing all of the shop review videos with another person beside me so they could give out their sort of, I don't know if advice, but their opinion as a potential buyer, as someone who's been seeing, you know, Redbubble and Etsy for the first time and don't know anything about design. And then if they don't like this design, I can offer, you know, design tips and how to adjust it, how to modify this design to make it better. Second announcement is about today's video. I am really trying to make my videos accessible to all people, which means all level of creations. Um, what I did in today's video in the first part is use graphics from Canva. You can also use graphics from Creative Fabrica, but if you're an illustrator, just use graphics from yourself. And that doesn't mean that this tutorial has no value for you because the main point that I wanted to set out in this tutorial is how to take any type of creation and create the layout of the card. So I'm just gonna quickly go through what you're about to see in this video and see if this is something that is for you. The first step in creating printable greeting cards is actually creating the card's design, which I will take you to Canva and show you a quick way to design any type of card. I'm designing a seven by five inch foldable card. So I'm gonna show you the design and then I'm gonna show you how to place it correctly on a US letterhead with all of the lines that people need to cut and fold, as well as how to create mock-ups for this greeting card and upload it to Etsy. Yes, we're gonna go straight up into my new Etsy shop where I'm gonna show you how to list a greeting card from start to finish. The description, the tags, the photos, all of these little menu items that people sometimes don't know how to fill out or if they're filling out correctly, we're gonna do it together. And after we're going to do that, we're going to get back to me and talk a little bit more about what's coming up later this month and in April. And just a small reminder, this is a pre-recorded live premiere video. I am not live right now on YouTube. I am not physically talking right now, unless I'm on the phone. But I am on the live chat, which will be on either one of these sides because sometimes my camera flips myself and sometimes it doesn't and so it's either this or this there is a live chat that you can ask me questions throughout the video or just tell me what you guys are up to and if you have any specific questions like long deep questions or things that you want me to make a video about please do not do it in the live chat put that in the comment section below because the live chat goes away the minute the live premiere ends and the minute the live premiere will end, in about 2-3 seconds you can refresh the video and watch it from the start. So if you're getting into this video in the middle, no worries. If you're getting into it right now, you haven't really missed anything. Because right now what we're going to do is we're going to go to my computer. I'm going to show you again all the steps from designing, creating the PDF that people get, creating the mock-up, listing it on Etsy, and then we're going to go back to me and talk a bit more about what we have during this month and what is planned for the month of April. If you want to make me feel better about myself already for making this effort and making this video and waking up at 4 a.m., you can click on that like button below because every time you do, YouTube says, hmm, someone likes this video. I'm going to show it to more people. 
And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time because we have so many different videos this month that will really help you find your way into a passive income stream in 2021. So let's go to my computer and let's get started. Just like most of my screenshot sections in my video tutorials, we are starting with Canva because I think it's one of the easiest tools that you can use to create basically anything online. And what we're going to do is we're going to think about the process of how to get to the end result. And the end result is a product that people can download, print, cut and fold, which means that we are going to start from the beginning of it, which is the card itself. And to start with the card itself, we're going to go to create a design, go to custom size, choose inches, and try to define the width and the height of my card. Now the width of my card is going to be 7 inches and the height is going to be 5. But I'm doing a double card because it's foldable. So the width is going to stay 7 and the height is going to be 10. Let's just open it up. So basically what we're going to have here is that this specific card, once people print it out, this part would be the back area and this part would be the front area. And the back area, of course, is going to be upside down. Now, in order to make sure that I'm staying within the margins of everything I do, I'm going to go to Elements and choose a square. I'm going to put this square all over here in the corner, stretch it up, and you see now that it's 7 inches wide and exactly 5 inches tall. And we're going to take this and we're going to duplicate it and put another one on the side here. Which means that now if I take any element, any element at all, I can have centering lines for within that specific square. Now obviously I'm not going to leave these here, I don't want my card to be grey, but I am going to leave it for now and I'm going to delete it right before I want to post this card. So what I'm about to do now is I'm going to think about what I want to say, the design that I want to do. And since Easter is coming up, I think that it's the most important thing to start with. So let's just start with going again into Element and searching something relating to Easter. Now, the card is only going to be as beautiful as your creativity. If you have your own illustrations and your own graphics, just upload them. I do that as well. If you got anything from Creative Fabrica, you can do that too. Actually, I do have some stuff on Creative Fabrica. Let's just go have a look. I really do like this bouquet of flowers. I got it at a listing on Creative Fabrica for camping watercolor designs. And again, as you can see, if I put it here, I can pretty much center it within this square. And you also have the effects option in Canva, which holds a color mix effect that will significantly change the colors. I mean, this would give it a totally, totally different color. And I think that I like this one actually. And this is what they mean by significantly change because this is a very different illustration than this one. I'm gonna leave it with this one because I really do love the colors here. So I'm gonna click apply. And this can be centered. I can also like open it and put it on the side. It doesn't have to be, you know, there is no one way of doing things. So I'm just going to put it here. And I'm going to go to my text. And I'm going to write down Happy Easter. Now again, this is a very basic card, but the main point of this tutorial is not how to design this specific card. It's how to design a printable foldable card and listed on Etsy. We're going to go into Etsy, we're going to physically list it, I'm going to show you all the steps. This is just so we'd have something to put down there. Now I see here that the text Happy Easter is not going to fit this area here because it's too bold, it's too bulky. So what I'll do is I'm going to go to font and I'm going to click in thin. Try to find a really really thin font. This one could be a nice one, maybe too thin. Let's just pick something up. I hate that I'm such a perfectionist because this is really not the point of the video that I want to show you. So let's just go with this one. This is nice. Oh, I'm, I, I'm, I keep forgetting how to say it. Amatic. Amatic is a really nice font. I really like using it. So I'm just going to push this up and change the line height between them because I want them to be 
a bit closer. And I'm going to align this with the element here. And I can also choose both of them and sort of center them together. But I like it on the side. And what I have here is the front side of the card. And the back side of the card, whenever you fold it, is going to be upside down. So in here, you can also put down, you know, a happy Easter. Or for example, if you have this greeting card that has like two sentences, so the other one can be up top. But if you don't, you could just put your logo in it. And let's pretend that you have a logo. So I'm going to go to elements and click on, I don't know, circle. And let's just quickly create something that is perhaps your logo and click on this. Let's say your shop's name is Cards for Fun. Minimize it. Place it inside the circle. Let's say it's white, boldy. And I'm going to group both of the circle and this one together and flip them all the way to 180 degrees, which is upside down. And I'm going to center it and make sure that we see these guiding lines that appear here as the square. And this would be my card. Now I'm gonna do a few more because I wanna show you some other things that you can do with it. So let's just quickly duplicate this because I do want this square. I'm gonna leave this one here. I'm going to grab the whole thing up in here. Let's just do like a happy birthday one, maybe. Let's make it something funny altogether. I'm going to take this weird bird that sort of looks like it doesn't want to be here. And I'm going to change the effects back to normal and write down, oh, it's your birthday. I think it's funny. You might not think it's funny, but I like some stuff that are like a bit sarcastic, a bit humorous. Let's go to effect and make sure that the line height is a bit smaller. Mark all of them. Adjust the lines. I wonder what would happen if what would they all be in all caps? Yeah, it's kind of cute. So I'm putting this in the corner here and I'm putting this above it. You can also write down like happy bird day because you know it's a pun and people like puns and of course I'm gonna delete this. You can also try and match the colors of your logo to the color of the specific art that is displayed on that card to make sure that it sticks and let's also do something you know for maybe an anniversary because anniversary cards are a huge thing. I just need my square again. And again, remember you need to grab your square and make sure that it fits up until the middle. And whenever I grab this one here, it's gonna appear in the exact same place. So I don't need to edit this part as well. But what I'm gonna do here is pretty much one of my favorite things, which is I will always love you. I think I've sold so many different variations of the I will always love you card with owls. And I have a few interesting owls that I've downloaded from Creative Fabrica that I really like. I'm going to leave a link down below to Creative Fabrica. And I think I have separate videos on how to use them. But the general notion is that you search for something and then you market graphics and then you market approved for print on demand. Ooh, finally, owls. Let's take these cuties. Let's just go and find an owl on Canva. I mean, come on, Canva has enough owls. Oh, these ones are adorable. I like both of these together. So I'm going to take one, I'm going to take the other, and they're going to be together as a couple. Let's see if I can make like this one smaller. Because genetically speaking, generally speaking, most females are shorter, but let's not try and make it as if <laughs> she's his kid. But these little cuties, let's group them together. Put them below. I'm just going to quickly grab this text because I want to use the same font. I'm going to put it in the center where I can work on it and write down, I will always 
love you make it so much smaller because this is too big and curve it up but not too much maybe something like this we are going to minimize these little babies make sure they are centered and we can even curve this up a bit more I don't know if you like this design I personally don't really feel anything towards it I don't particularly like it but the whole point is what happens next so now that I have my three cards I have happy Easter I have a birthday card and I have a love you card I'm gonna add another page and I'm gonna color it all in black which will make a lot more sense in our next step and now let's click on download choose a JPEG make sure that the quality is as its best and download all four pages and with the magic of video editing it's already been downloaded and unzipped i don't know if you guys can hear it but a crazy like rainstorm just started outside let's see that i have all of them and i'm going to go back to canva and this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply open a new us letterhead document i'm going to go back to my downloads i'm going to choose all four of these and just drop them here and the first thing I'm going to do to the document is I'm going to color it in a different color a bit. Let's just give it like green color so I can see better what I'm working on because all of these are completely white. So if this is going to be white, I'm not going to see the edges. And what I want to see here is that I have a 10 by 7. And this is important because if I work on inches, I will see the inches. If I don't work on inches, I will not see them. So this is a 10 by 7 design that I'm going to center. And I'm also going to take the black one and I'm going to make it the exact same size and then take it down just a tiny bit. See, 7.1 and 10.2. Center this as well and move it backwards. And that would give me the frame. So now I'm just going to remove this. I'm going to go to elements. I'm going to click on line choose a simple line and this is something that Canva has gotten so much better with I'm just gonna make the line go all the way make sure that the line is at zero degrees take it all up to the center we have to focus it a bit better and this is something you only have to do one time let's choose an uneven number let's write down 11 and make sure that it's all centered up and position it all the way in the back and this is our card that shows where people need to cut and where people need to fold and now we're gonna give it a bit more of a styling and as we use this font for the logo I'm gonna continue using this font I'm gonna write here front of the card I'm also gonna write down back of the card, put the front of the card here, make it of course smaller, turn it to 90 degrees, put it here, make it bolder, and you know what, let's just delete this one and duplicate the one that I already have, twist it to the other side, all the way up to again 90 degrees and write down back of the card so people would know how to print you can also leave in your own remarks for example I'm gonna put here this like designed by May Arroyo make sure that it's aligned I'm gonna also grab this one I can just grab this one and put it here and this is where you write down like let's say your shop's name is cards for fun so like cards for fun dot etsy dot com and this would be your greeting card this would be something that people are going to see people are going to get and we're going to download this as a pdf print but again because this is the file that people are going to get we are going to name it so this one is called happy easter card and we're going to download this as a PDF print. And now that it's downloaded, I just want to show you how easy this is going to be because I'm simply going to duplicate this, go back to uploads, grab this one, duplicate this, 
grab this one and it's a totally different card it's all about the system of making them and it's very important for you to realize that while I can go here and click on download JPEG and download all of these on JPEG and then open them up, I will not be doing it for the PDF versions because the PDF versions will basically, if I download all of them, it's not going to create three PDFs. It's going to create one PDF with all three of them. But I do also need a JPEG file of this card and you're going to see in a minute why. Let's just unzip it. And here I have all the JPEG files and I have already downloaded the PDF of the Easter card. The next step is creating the mock-up. Now, personally, all of my mock-ups are 2454 pixels by 2020. So we're going to just grab this and open this sizing on Canva. We we'll go back to Canva. Create a design which is in pixels that measures this way. You can copy this, you can write it down. This is the preferred size that I like to use. And I don't know if you've known this, but Etsy prefers listings that have more than five, like have five or more photos. So well, the first thing I'm going to do, because if I look at my uploads here, I can already see the cards themselves. But what I do need is to show people what they're actually getting, which is the PDF. So let's go to where I downloaded the PDFs and let's just grab this one, the Happy Easter one. And this is the JPEG version of the Happy Easter one. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to photos and I'm going to search for greeting card mockups. I know that a lot of people think that investing in Canva Pro membership is only that you'll be able to create this thing, you know, background, transparent background effect with PNG. But the fact is that you have so many mockups that you can use that are only for the Pro version. So I really do think that this is the right thing to do because it's a small price to pay for the fact that you basically run your entire business design from Canva. And I'm going to leave a link down below for 30 days free trial with Canva. But what we're going to do now is we have a happy Easter card and I'm just going to try and drag here like some of the mockups and see if they work. This one, I don't think it will look good because it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of cornered. Let's just have a look here. I'm going to grab this design. I'm going to push it all the way down to the center of it. And then I can play with it and see if it fits here. I don't think it, it, it looks kind of nice. I still have some of the shadow, but I think it might be better on a different mock-up. Yeah, I don't like this mock-up. Let's go and try to find another photo. Because the mock-ups are incredibly important, they're basically the reason why people choose your product over others. They are the first thing that a person sees. And the mock-ups should also somehow relate to the topic. So, for example, I will not be using mock-ups with a Christmas tree if it's for Easter, that's not going to be a good idea. But for love cards, this could work. This could also work for Easter because of the flowers in the spring. Let's see if I like it. Again, I'm going to full on center this and cut it down by half. I'm trying to see if I can place it comfortably here. And I think it looks nice because the photo is not as clear as a card. I can actually adjust it and maybe minus for the card. So it's gonna look a little bit more natural. And now what's missing from this specific mockup page are two things. The fact that it's a digital download card and the fact that it's from your store. So let's just go back to one of your cards and let's just, you know, grab your logo. And obviously you grab your actual logo. Let me know if you want me to make a tutorial on how to create a logo and cover photo for Etsy. I did a video for creating cover photos for Redbubble. If you want me to make one for Etsy, let me know. Let's just try and find a good place for it here. And I'm going to go to element and I'm going to go to shapes. Yes, let's go to shapes and find something. Oh, this is a nice looking banner. So I'm going to grab this banner here. I'm going to duplicate this, make the second one a bit smaller, color it in white, 
and center it on top of this one. And I can have the external one black if I want to have a bit more of a strong effect to it, if I don't want this to be this one, or make this a bit bigger so the lines are going to be thicker. Let's just quickly grab some text and write down here. So this is a digital. So this is a digital. And for the word download, I think I want to have like a smaller font that isn't so narrow. Download. Let's make it obviously smaller. And you can design this as the way that you want. I mean, you don't have to use this specific one. I can just delete these ones and maybe like go here, grab one of these shapes make sure that it fits here and what i will do is i'm going to leave this one in this color but i'm going to duplicate it lay it all over it and try to make it more narrow like to cover the download part color it in white and send it backwards so this would say digital downloads, digital downloads, sorry. And you can put it this way. You can play around with it and find the system that you like and the way that you like to present your mock-ups. There are so many different things that you can do to make sure that people really truly understand that this is a digital download item, that they're not going to get any physical card. And we're also going to be talking about this when we're going to do the listing because right after I'm finishing with the mockups, I'm going to take you to Etsy and we're going to upload this together. I'm going to show you all of the little points that matter, don't matter. Let's just grab all of these and group them together because I know I would want to use them later on. And this is the first mockup, what people see. The thing is that I want to show them what they're getting. So what I will do next is I'm just going to find some sort of a background and I want to have like a clear background that really, you know, tells people I have a, a lot of place to write down what I want. Let's see if they have, because the end file, the file that they're getting is a US letterhead. So let's just try and see here if they have some US letter mockups. And they do. Oh, this is actually one of my favorite ones. So I'm going to put this here, go back to upload, grab this one. It should fit almost entirely. Let's just zoom in a bit. Don't hurry up when you're making the mockups. Take your time. Make sure that they're perfect because this is what people see when they enter your store and they are super, super important. So we have this one. And I'm going to just quickly try and let's grab the text here. And write down something like, let's just grab, let's ungroup this for a second so I could just grab one of the pieces of the text and write down, hmm, let me see. No, I'm going to move this here. Move this along with it. Make sure that it fits. I like to adjust it with the errors of my keyboard because they're less sensitive. And I'm going to write this printable, printable Easter card. Make sure that they are aligned here. Printable Easter card on a US printable Easter card, one PDF file. US letter size to download, print, cut, and fold. And that's what I'll have here. Obviously, you can play around with the font, you can play around with how you want to present it. But so far, I have the main visual one that people are going to see, and then this is what people are going to get. But hey, I need at least five mock ups for Etsy to think that this listing has enough photos 
So I'm just trying to think, you know, I can I can redo this one. I can try and find different mock-ups of this and how it looks. But I can also create like this back photo, which will be in all of your photos. So let's just go to photos again. And I want to go back to greeting card mock-ups. And I know that this is like a small trick that I like to do that helped a lot of sellers because Etsy is a place for people to come in and buy from real people. So a very big part of it is showing them that you are a real person and, you know, sort of thank them in advance for having a look at your store, for coming in, for showing their interest in you. And for that, I'm going to need something in the style of a card because, you know, cards are what we're all about now today in this video. I'm just going to drag this a bit here. So what I want to do is I want to have a photo of me, the photo of the owner of the store. So you're going to go here to element and you're going to go to grids. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to create this photo here. We're going to cover up the card with a blank element. Like this. It doesn't have to be exact. I don't want to waste time from this tutorial just, you know, on making this precise. But we can do something like this. And then you grab a photo of yourself. And I don't want to use a photo of myself because I don't remember where I put them on my computer. But let's just type in woman. And let's say that this is you because it's a good photo of you smiling. And we're going to grab a piece of text from here. And we're going to write down something like... Thank you for checking out my car designs. I hope you enjoy the art. And then, you know, May Arroyo. And obviously, your name. Let's just make it smaller. Thank you for checking out the cards and the art. And you can put this photo on any listing as the last listing. I mean, this would be a fantastic photo to have. And if you also have a sale, let's say you have a sale in your store that right now everything is 20% off because of a coupon code, then you make one for that too. And you can also create two other mockups for this one if you wanna fill out the whole five photos on Etsy. We're gonna download this one as a JPEG file, not as PNG. I really don't need this to be any larger than it is right now. And we're gonna unzip it. Now that I am all done with the mockups, let's go to Etsy and I'll show you how to correctly upload this listing. Let's just go to Etsy, go to your listings. And I know that I said that this month I will be uploading a lot more photos and I was supposed to be uploading so many more listings, but I really got sidetracked with a lot of things, mostly with YouTube, so I'm still not really working on my shop. And let's just create add a listing. I don't want to duplicate any one of mine because I want to show you the process of making them and not just go over and like duplicate what I've already done. We're going to click on add photos here. I'm going to go to downloads. And I'm going to choose my mock-up if I remember where I put it. I think it's here. Yeah. Select all three of them. And while this is uploading, let's just go here and think about the title. Now, anything on Etsy relates to tags, relates to keyword searches, relates to basically certain word combinations that people might be searching for on Etsy. So we're going to start with basically just describing the card, which is a printable Easter greeting card instant download seven by five inch cards for easter and as you can see i don't have actually easter card together it's an easter greeting card so what i'm gonna do is write down easter card to download easter flowers cards and you don't have to fill it all the way through because a lot of people think that they have to use all the space, but Etsy actually likes shorter names. And now we're going to write down who made it. I did. What is it? A finished product. When did I make it? This year. In the category, 
Let me see if I can write down Easter cards here. Category is going to be greeting cards, holiday and seasonal cards, Easter cards, which is the most targeted one. And even if you don't write anything Easter related here, it's still going to find you because you're under Easter cards. The primary color here, I'm not going to put it in here because it's not really... I think it's more for shirts or more if the card itself had a color as well as the secondary color. The occasion is not going to be relevant because this is an Easter card and the holiday is Easter. I will want this listing to be automatically renewed and here I'm going to start for the people who've never used Etsy before. To list any product on Etsy you need to pay 20 US dollar cents which means that this is 20 cents to list it as well as 20 cents whenever someone buys it and it gets renewed or if it's renewed automatically every four months. If you click on manual renewal and someone will order this card while you're asleep, then nobody will be able to order it until you wake up and renew it. So printable items are pretty much just an automatical and we're going to list that it is a digital product. Now, if you see here, once this is a physical product, if I scroll all the way down, I need to write down like the shipping options, but this is not relevant. So once I'm going to click on digital, when I go down, it's going to tell me to upload a file, which I will upload the PDF. So I'm going to go back to my downloads and I'm going to choose the PDF of the Easter card. And here this gets interesting because we have the description and what are we going to write in the description? So there are several things that we need to write down in the description. We need to have sort of this opening, like a greeting, because this is what people read, you're talking to them. And then we're going to need to explain to them what they're getting. And with printable items, it's even more important to explain to them what they're not getting because they're not getting a physical product. And then we're going to say a few nice words, maybe tell them we have more Easter cards, maybe tell them about a sale, maybe tell them to follow us on Instagram and just say a pleasant goodbye. So let me just dive in the zone a bit while you listen to some music and I come up with a description. And that will conclude my description. Notice that I have placed everything important here. First of all, I said that this is a happy Easter holiday card. And then I said that they don't have to wait for the card to arrive in the mail. They don't have to order several of them because they can just print it at home as many times as they want. I'm telling them that once they download this PDF, they will see exactly what is here in the second photo. And I'm also telling them that they need to print it out, cut it, and fold it in the middle to get their foldable greeting card. And once they do, the design will be in the front and the interior of the card is going to be blank for their Easter wishes. I am repeating myself that this is an instant download item. You have no idea how many people see digital download and still wait for their card in the mail. This is super important. No physical card will be shipped to you. I'm also suggesting that they could just print it out on a simple piece of paper or card stock just for whatever they want and they can also just cut it in half which I made a mistake in and get a flat card. Check out my shop for more greeting cards at write down your shops link and thank you for checking out my printable e happy Easter card. I wish you and your families a beautiful spring. Love May. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to section and I have actually a section for Easter cards but if you don't just click on add a section and write down Easter cards and in this case I have one and now let's work on the tags. So the first thing we know is that this is an Easter card. This is also a happy Easter card. 
This is a printable card, foldable card, seven by five inch card, instant download, happy, oh, happy Easter, I've already done it. Let's see, floral card, spring Easter, Easter flowers, Easter gift card, maybe. Uh, cards for Easter, card for Easter. You also have Easter in several other languages. I think it's like Joyous, Joyous Pacwa, which is how to say Happy Easter in French, which is also a good tag to have. So I would also put the French version here. Materials are optional. There are no materials. This is a digital download item. I could actually write down here watercolor flowers and love just for the kick of it and now we're going to price it my store is priced at shekels because i'm an israeli store but yours would have dollars in it so let's just say you want to have like a three or four dollars for it so i would be writing down 12 because it's approximately that and this is important this is an endless card you cannot run out of this card so just write down quantity 100 so, because if you write down quantity one and someone orders it, then it goes away from your shop and nobody can do it. If you want to personalize this card in any way, click on on. If you want me to make a full video on how to do personalized items, let me know. The digital file is already on. And since I have Etsy ads running in my shop, if you have that, you can choose to not place this card in it or yes, place this card in it. And I'm just going to look at the first photo here. It looks nice. The second photo is the photo of the card. And the third photo is the third photo of you thanking people. And let's just click on publish. And at this point, it's going to tell me that it's going to cost me 20 cents. And I'm going to publish it because I just paid 20 cents to have a YouTube video. And now let's just go here and view this card on Etsy. And this is how it looks. Super pretty, super fun, super easy. Just creating your very own Easter card. I can do the same thing with the birthday cards, with the anniversary cards, make sure that they all have sections of their own. And in this system, which is basically creating the cards here and then placing them on PDFs and making the mockups, this is super fun, super simple, super easy. And we're gonna go back to me and talk about this some more. And we're back. I'm back. What did you guys think? I, I think like I've shown this uh, type of technique to a few people before and it was always one of two remarks. The first was, oh my god, is this what I have to do to create a printable greeting card? This is so much work. And the second one was, oh my god, this is so easy. I could just make a hundred greeting cards and open a shop tomorrow. So I don't know which one of those people are you. If you think that this is too long of a process, if you prefer Redbubble, Society6, any other kind of print on demand, or just creating wall art, you know, you do you. But if you think that this is something cool that you can do, why not get started? Because, you know, you can really dive deep into it. And if you have the time, this is a great time to do it. Personally, I made a vow to myself for March goals to invest my time and go from 14 listings on Etsy to 40. I had my first sale, but I'm not marketing it. And there was one day when I wanted to just bulkly upload. I think it was like 17 listings. I ended up uploading four and then there was a lot of construction noise around here. And I spent most of the day trying to find a different apartment to move to. I am moving on the 5th of April, finally. And hopefully uh, an apartment that I will be staying in for about a month. And hopefully after that, I will be going back to Europe. And I just want to quickly chat with you guys and let you know what else is coming. Because this month is going to be super interesting. And I've been really working hard on it. I actually already started working on the video that's going to be in two days, which is how to sell photography online. This video will cover up so much. It will cover up Redbubble and Society6 and Fine Out America. It will cover up how to sell on Shutterstock. It will cover up how to sell photography on Etsy in a variety of different ways. And 
I think that a lot of people don't understand the potential in photography and making money from photography because they think that you have to be this crazy travel photographer. But I know a lot of people who made a lot of money selling photos of their cute dogs or even selling like still life photos, which is, you know, a photo of a fruit ball and stuff like that. There is really no limit to what you can do. And most of the people who I know are successful with selling photography online use their phones, use the cameras and their phones, which are incredible these days. I mean, come on. You have camera phones these days that are better than digital cameras 10 years ago. On the 16th of the month, it's going to be a bit of a personal video and I will show you how I personally promote all of my Redbubble products. And I'm reminding you that I'm still waiting on one item of an order I made. I ordered one of my tote bags, one of the zipped pouches. I ordered a journal, a face mask and a t-shirt. I'm still waiting on the face mask and the minute that the face mask arrive I'm gonna do like a Redbubble haul because I want to show you the quality of the items on Redbubble I don't know I want you to see like what to push forward and whatnot I definitely know that I you know have my lessons after seeing the physical product some of them I don't think I'll be using as much and some of them I think that I will price higher now that I've seen the quality I have also had one product that arrived in a bad condition and I contacted Redbubble Support and I would love to update you on just how amazing they were because honestly this has been the best online support I've ever received but we're going to talk about this when I get my fast mask and on the 19th we have 15 different niche ideas and sub niches to open your print on demand store this could be on Redbubble or Society6 or all of them and all of these niches will come with their own tips on marketing the thing is that whatever niche you're gonna like from these 15 niches, I'm gonna create a different video just about designing for that niche, so pay attention. On the 21st, we're gonna be talking about selling printable stationery on Etsy. And I mean making and listing printable stationery on Etsy, in case you ever wondered, on the 23rd, we're going to have a video that is a long time coming for me, which is four years on Redbubble. I never sold one t-shirt. Why that doesn't bother me and what do I personally sell best? The 26th is a Google SEO video. The 29th is a video for building up your own website. And coming in April are videos for your shop reviews. I'm going to leave a link down below to the shop review video where you can go in and check out what you need to send me and to what email address. And I'm also going to let you know that we're going to have an Instagram video coming up in April, as well as a video on how to create printable stickers for Etsy, which is super, super, super cool. So I guess that's it from me for today. I would like to thank everyone who participated in the live chat. This is so awesome. And also thank you to the 25 people who already emailed me since yesterday for their shop review. I have seen some incredible shops there. This is going to be hella fun. So I will wish you all a happy weekend and a happy start of the next week. And hopefully the sun is going to decide if it wants to be out or if it's one to hide because it keeps changing throughout this video. And I kind of wonder because I'm moving on the 5th of April and I, and you know, a lot of people think like when they're moving to a temporary apartment, like how is it going to be? How's it going to be my kitchen? How's it going to be my neighbors? And I'm like, I wonder how the lighting is going to be <laughs> because all I care about is having good lighting to film these videos. So that's it. I'm done for today. I'm super giddy because you guys make me really happy with your comments and with your DMs and you really keep me motivated in making these videos and I'm starting to look at a lot of you as my co-workers you know you're just working with me we're all just doing our own hustling trying to find a way to have passive income in 2021 and that's it if you like this video you know what to do if you're not subscribed you don't have to and that's it I'm gonna I'm gonna stop no more goodbye phrases I will see you in two days in the photography video and I hope you all have a wonderful wonderful weekend Bye!